Hello, YouTubes! Boy, you've been perpetrating all season. What do we love us more than some Halloween? Some clearance Halloween! Boy, do we got a big old haul to get into! Let's do it! Okay, YouTubes! So you know old Cobwebs, the day after Halloween was out hitting the pavement, we was looking for some deals. November 1st is Halloween clearance shopping. And all the stores didn't have very much at all. It was pretty crazy ass year out there this year, I gotta say. But one of my very first stops was Party City. When I roll up in there November 1st, everything was half price and the store was damn near empty. All the racks were against the walls, the shelves were broken down, there was nothing but dregs left, so I searched the store and I did find a couple of things, not too much. I did get some AmScam netting, very cool stuff. It sheds a lot, but uh, this stuff is normally $21.99, so I got it for 11 bucks a piece. And I got not one, but two. So we got that for cover the witches' huts or for uh, displays. We're gonna use that down the road and I can chop it up, use it as capes or cloaks on stuff. Super cool stuff, I love that stuff. When I get it for 50%, I buy it all. And my last thing of party city that I found, that really they didn't have any costumes left. All the reaper robes were gone, the monk's robes were gone, all the cool stuff was gone. I got me some clown stuffy pants. Now I know you guys think, but Kyle Webbs, you don't do no clowns. I don't. But for $9? I thought these would be cool to make a creepy ringmaster down the road or something like that if I do like a circusy uh, type of guy or whatever. So, got us some stripy pants. Okay, so another stop was uh, Myers. So, you guys see my shopping videos? I'll list my uh, link my uh, playlist below in the comments or description, whatever. I'll pin it so you guys go through and see all my shopping videos this year. Myers. This is a store that's sort of like a Kmart, sort of. They're sort of like a steak, stereos, underwear, so toes, or uh, socks. Dior and any kind of stuff like that, pet supplies. So surprisingly, Myers had a little bit left. They were kind of scattered. They went through their stuff pretty fast this year. They were really late as always putting it out, but me and April went in there and I did find some pretty cool dish towels. I hate the ones that are writing on that say, oh, like here for the booze or you know, that crap. I, I, I hate that QC garbage. But these pumpkin outline ones I thought were pretty awesome, man. So I had to give it to this one. And these guys were, I think four bucks or something like that. So they cost me like uh, $2. So I got us some pumpkins, I got us some little skulls in black, gray, white, and orange. I thought that was a really cool pattern too, I thought that one was awesome. That's like a year round towel right there. So Myers was just killing it in the towel game this year. And I got one last set of towels, and I got purple cats, or black cats on a purple background and little stars. I thought, hey that's pretty cool too, I like that, I like the little outlines of the black kitties, it's pretty sharp. So another score from Meyer. I think these were, these were like two bucks a piece, or yeah, I think they were like two bucks a piece, like a total steal. So I got three dish towels, and when I was sitting there doing my video, I didn't really see any of those. Uh, that's got to be Willow. Um, another thing I was pretty excited about that I saw when I was in there for clearance, but not did see it, I didn't see it during the regular uh, Halloween shopping, was I got me some bugs. I thought these guys were really cool. I got a project coming up and I'm making some bugs myself. You guys follow me on Cobwebs and Candlesticks on Facebook. Uh, you see I was like sculpting some bugs and stuff. I got me some hollow beetles. Well, that's a fly. And these guys I think were not $1.99 a piece. So big black fly. I got us uh, some beetles. Hollow again. I was hoping for hollow, so this works out great for what I need. I think I got two or three of those guys. Another beetle. I think another beetle. Another beetle, another beetle, there's like two different styles, something like that. So I got like six big bugs. And look for those, we're gonna use them on a project coming up uh, this year, hopefully. Uh, I got a pretty big project in mind that I needed some bugs for, so I was really happy to find those. And speaking of bugs, uh, another one of my stops was Michael's. Okay, so Michael's, again, they sort of restocked at the end of the year. I was in there probably 15 times this year, and they were getting lower and lower and lower in stock, and then I walked in there one day, they had a bunch more stuff, so a truck had come in late, and I thought, well, man, what the hell, man? So, uh, it was the very next day after Halloween, I said, let's go take a look, see what they got. And boy, did get me a Funkin'. Now, Michael's Funkin's are like $50 a piece, but I got this guy for, I think, 12 bucks, 12 50 something like that, half price. He's normally, uh, normally $29.99, so I got this guy for like 50% off. So he was like, I don't know, 15, 14, 50, something like that. So I got us a cool Funkin'. And also when I was at Michael's walking around, and I found only one Venus flytrap. I love the ones they had last year that had the longer stems, but these are still really cool. So when I find the little Venus flytraps, I buy them. These are awesome, love those. And then also when I was walking around Michael's, 
that I did not see the whole year again, surprise me, crept up on me when I was there, was more bugs. <laughs> Receipt. Why me and my bad spending. Look at these awesome guys. And they were $4.99, so they were $2 a piece. Some really cool big flies. And I got six of them all together. And I did not see these during the regular shopping season, so I thought, man, that's freaking awesome. I got to have me some bugs. I need bugs. I'm going in the bug business, gotta have them. So for $2.50 a piece, sold. I bought last all the ones they had, and my store that was close to me did not have them, which is shocking. So it's weird that some stores had some stuff and others didn't have anything. All right, so one of my stops was Target, and they were pretty much wiped out, man. They had, were down to basically kids' costumes and the dregs. They didn't have much whatsoever. Uh, somebody hit them hard probably at the end of the year, uh, right around Halloween, because they emptied them out if they had anything at all. So I did find me another Funkin, and this guy was only 6 bucks. I think it cost me. He's uh, $12 half price, $6. So I got me another Funkin for 6 bucks, about the same size as that Michael's ones. And the only other thing I found at Target was a costume. So next year, this is part of it. So next year for Halloween, I got Little Man's costume. Are you excited, Little Man? You ready to check this out? Oh, and uh, we got Little Man a monkey too. He picked this out at Dollar General. Not clearance though. All right, Target. So next year for Halloween, gotta do a little bit of work on him. Little Man is gonna be a Ghostbuster. He's gonna be Spangler. So this uniform was, uh, I think, twelve fifty. It was half price on the Target's fifty percent off. So I'll cut it down and fit it. And that's a little proton pack that you blow up, or you stick a milk jug in there, or something. I don't know what the hell you do with it. So we're gonna have to make him a little gun and make him some little goggles. But he is gonna be Spangler next year as a Ghostbuster. I think the kids are gonna love that. It's gonna be awesome. And for twelve fifty, why not just take a chance and be a Spangler? Totally cool. All right. Uh, what else did we go? Another big stop I made, which shocked me was Walmart. I barely avoid going there. I avoided that place like the damn plague, but there was one next to the Spirit of Halloween, so I'm like, all right, we'll go in there, we'll take a chance, see if they got anything. They were wiped out earlier in the year, and this time they kind of paid off. It's almost like they saved the best for last, maybe they got a late truck. Man, I found these cool projection lights. They are like fire and ice lights. Uh, they're normally $14.88, so I got them for $7 and like change of some kind. Uh, they got red and Red and pumpkin, so red and orange, which I thought was cool. I'll just spray paint the pumpkin black. Don't need it. Don't want to see it. I got uh, purple, which is really cool. Purple and orange. Love that color combination. I put that on my uh, my uh, Heads on Spears this year, so that was pretty cool. And surprisingly, they had a bunch of them, so I got another purple, which is cool. I got another red and orange. And these guys were like $7 a piece. It's like, you can't buy a damn $7 light bulb for that. And then I got one last one, I think. Purple and orange projection lights. Again, it looks like a little pumpkin. We can spray paint that bad boy. Set it in the yard, stab it in, good to go. Lights are ready. And I did also find some LED lights there that I might be able to use for projects down the road. These guys were $5.94 a piece. So they're LED strands, uh, let's see, 20 feet of it. Uh, purple, I've got yellow or amber, orange. And I think I got one more too. Let's see. Oh, Michaels, how did I miss that? Also, while I was at Michael's, I found a wig. Wigs are freaking expensive. Wigs at Spirit are like $30. So I think I got this one for $7, and that was Michael's. Can bags. All right. Also at Walmart, I did find some more lights. There we go. Here's our green LEDs. Again, three bucks. I bought one of each color just to have. Might need them down the road. If not, I'll throw them in the cabinet where the lighting goes. We got plenty to use next year. One of my biggest finds at Walmart, which I was so happy about, buried under the kids' clothes, the place was trash. There was shit everywhere, stuff on the floor, people were stepping on everything. I found me an entire month's robe for $10, half price, $5. Got a little plastic cheesy cross in there, but anytime you can find like robes and stuff or full-size uh, props and scale characters, I love that stuff, so I buy that stuff. So I got me a robe for five bucks for a monk at Walmart. So thank you, Walmart. This year actually paid off there, which was uh, pretty cool. Also at Walmart, I found some little beads for two bucks. I thought these were kind of cool. I'm going to cut them apart and use them for like, uh, you know, like cut off heads or bead projects or swamp witch beads or something. I don't know. For two dollars, I'm not going to take the chance. And then April had found a bunch of candles. Got some bleeding candles. Uh, one bleeding candle. Three, three black taper candles. What the hell is this? And some wet and wild color kind of. That's, 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 that's a staple buy, not me. All right, 
So that was Walmart. Walmart. Great scores at Walmart this year. I was shocked again. It's the first time I've ever done clearance at Walmart, and it paid off pretty good. So one of my other stops, I hit up all the Dollar Tree, Dollar Day, Dollar Stores, Dollar Rama. If there's a dollar something, I went there. Uh, I went over to Dollar. Well, actually, I went to three Dollar Generals. And uh, boy, I stopped over here. They had the little carts pushed outside already, 50%. You got to dig through all the glittery crap that sits on top. But they had some good deals. Boy, you know, Kyle Wells, he found him some chains, man. We got dollar fifty chains. These are actually bigger links than the Dollar Tree chain that I normally hoard. So I thought, oh man, two kinds of chain? I'll take it. That's awesome. I got one, two, three, three links of chain. Ah, four links of chain. So for another 450 times three, God, freaking math, man. Uh, less than $10, four chains. All right, also at Dollar General, they had some of them cheesy masks. And I got an old man mask. I don't really care about the mask, but I thought, man, this guy has got a hell of a hairdo on him. That wig's got to be worth at least $4, because he was 8 bucks normally, so I got him for $4. That wig alone is worth $4, so I bought him for the hair. Don't care about the face. It's a cheap way to use uh, hair for other projects. So got us an old man mask, and I bought, what else at Dollar General? Okay, we're still going Dollar General. I found one of these guys. That was pretty cool. What did I get him for? $2? Yeah, so it's normally $4. $2? I think I'm going to make another little trick-or-treat of this year. A little buddy for uh, for a little man. Little man, you want a buddy? You want a brother? I think I'm going to get him a, a little brother this year. And I thought, well, I could use this. Maybe I could put this in a little brother's hand or something like that. I don't know. But for $2, yeah, I'll take the, take the shot. If I don't like it, i give it away or whatever else. Found me a little candle stand. This was not clearance. This was 8 bucks. I paid full price for that. I want to put a skull on there or something. That's a project. Oh, I got pumpkin socks. These are for Savage. I don't know what I paid for these. Probably 50 cents or something retarded. And then I've got... Oh, okay. I found these. I was digging through the little carts outside of like the fourth dollar general I went to, and they had dollar shot glasses. They got little skulls on them. They're kind of uh, transparent. You can kind of see of them. But through them, so I've got what? They were a quarter a piece. I've got eight of them. So for 50 cents, I got eight shot glasses. Only I'm not going to use them as shot glasses. You guys see my, uh, my APOC helmet? Does that show up on the camera? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use these for the backpack I'm building to go with that mask. So when I saw these, I'm like, oh man, it's totally perfect for that project. So I'm taking them all. What else did we get from Dollar General? Oh yeah, here we go. So again, digging through the carts that were outside in front of the store with all the little glittery crap and garbage and stuff on top of it. I found me some bugs just to have little bones to chop up. So I got me a 50 cent spider. Was he a dollar? So 50 cents for a spider. I got me a 50 cent scorpion. Maybe I'll use the claws on something. I don't know. Again, project fodder just in case the uh, world shuts down again next year. I got some crap to cut up and build. And I got me a froggy skeleton, which I thought was yeah, pretty cool. Pretty sharp. So got a froggy skeleton. And again, I found a pastel silver wig. Six dollars, three dollars at Dollar General. Got a wig, so that was pretty cool. It's the only one I found. So for three dollars, got that. And I bought a witch mask. Again, don't really care for the sculpt. I can always cut it up and nail it to a board. I have them uh, little uh, old masks I like to recycle and nail to a board with staples and all that crap and make them all rusty. But again, I thought I had pretty great hair for four dollars. Yeah, for four dollars. So I'm gonna take this witch and I'm gonna cut her up later on. Use that for cannon fodder for other projects. My last and greatest single biggest purchase from Dollar General was, boy, you know this is coming. Old Cobbles is right on top of that. I went in there and I cleaned them out. Boy, we got some creepy cloth. I got 57 pieces of creepy cloth in three colors. That's like 50 cents a piece times 27. That's like two, carry the one. God, oh, math. Like, uh... $22.14 of Creepy Cloth. Boy, we got it all. Look at that stuff. They had that sitting on a table. They already had it packaged up for me. I took it all. We got us some Creepy Cloth. We might not even have to buy any next year. I don't know. And that is Dollar General. My last stop, of course, every year. Got to roll up in the Spirit of Halloween. And I did not have a Spirit of Halloween this year. So I had to drive a goddamn hour to find a Spirit of Halloween. And this is what I found. Okay, you choose. My Spirit Halloween haul. That's what I got from Spirit Halloween this year. The damn place is empty. They had broken down the racks, pushed everything against the wall. The spirit I went to was so small, it did not even have the displays. I saw these earlier, and these dish towels are pretty kick-ass. They're nice and thick. I love the pattern. They got little little uh, dingle ball fringes at the end, which is freaking cool. Uh, great quality dish towel. I knew I had to go back and try and get these, and surprisingly, they had one, so I bought it. They had maybe 200 pieces in the whole store, 
and everything was pushed against the walls, it was empty. I have never seen anything like that before in my life. Especially the first time in like 18 years I didn't have a Spirit Halloween. The only other thing they had at Spirit Halloween was this tombstone. Now it's tiny and I don't really like doing small tiny tombstones, little dollar store crap that sits in your yard and you know you look at it and it snaps in half. So I think this year I'm going to make definitely more tombstones. I'm going to glue this on and make a bigger tombstone, make this the front of the tombstone somehow. So I was kind of so discouraged at Spirit Halloween, I'm like man there's, there's got to be more. And this year, the first day, was only 25% off, which normally when you go to Spirit, day after Halloween, everything is 50% off. They changed it this year. November 1st was 25% off. The next day, November 2nd, was going to be 50% off. Then they were closing doors. So I thought, man, what the hell's going on, man? Come on, Spirit. I didn't even get one this year. I had to drive an hour to get here. What the hell's going on? So I got home. I looked up Spirit Halloween online, and they had some sale crap online. So what did I do? I bought me a box. Peppers! Peppers, God damn it! So this is what I got from Spirit Online Deals. Couldn't beat that. And surprisingly, I ordered this on Monday night when I got home from uh, Halloween shopping. And Wednesday morning, the box was sitting in the house and I got home from work. So I thought, all right, Spirit, at least you deliver what the hell you had. All right, so, okay, cool. Right on top, got me a hard plastic Batman mask. This guy was only 10 bucks. I thought, okay, I might be able to use this for a project. I got a little project brewed in the back of my head that I might get to one day. I don't know. I got to talk to Rob over Resurrect Costumes and get with him. I may try and make something happen with this thing. Don't know, but for 10 bucks, if it sits on a wall, who cares? Looks cool. I got me a clown mask, but I can hear it now. But clown boobs, you don't be doing no clowns. You hate clowns. I know I freaking hate clowns. But I'm hoarding plastic, cheap, crappy clown masks because I got a project in mind that's going to be awesome for a costume for clowns. Only... It's not really a clown costume, but it's, you just gotta wait and see. So I'm hoarding clown masks. Oh, yeah, I love that stuff. Ooh, Ooh Savage is gonna be mad. I just took all our glory. Another great deal I saw online. I thought, oh man, check these out. These are gonna look great with the, with the stripy uh, pants. Burgundy velvet hooded robe. These guys were 10 bucks, 9.99, a penny shy. So I thought they were awesome. I got two. How badass is that? They look like they're nice velvety robes. Yeah, there. Ooh, that's nice. It comes with some kind of little uh, sachet or sash or hood or something. I don't know. Check this out. Now this is pretty cool. It's got a hood. It's got the little uh, kind of bell sleeves and ragged sleeves. How do you not buy this for ten dollars? Ten dollars, spirit. So even though your store sucked this year and all your other thing was sold out. I got me two of these anyways. So I got one, I got two. I could put them on a full size prop or I could put them on April could wear them or Willow could wear them when she gets older. I don't know. Oh, okay, I got me some gypsy stuff too. Got a gypsy belt because one day I might like to build a little fortune teller. So when I saw this, this is normally 12 bucks. I got this for $6. So show me your wares, gypsy, $6. I got me a, oh, a little joker uh, rag for your mouth. Sometimes I still wear these rags out and about. And the Joker is awesome. It's not facing me. Hell, I got him tattooed on the inside of my arm. What the hell? So, got some Joker. I got a... Oh, yeah. The Eye of Horus or Ra. What is this one? Don't remember. But it was $8. I got it for $4. And it's nice and heavy metal. I read the review on it. I thought, man, for $4, I'll take that. I'll put it on a mummy or a prop somewhere down the road. thought that's super cool. It's nice and heavy and good weight. It had good reviews. Sold for $4. I got a set of... Again... Suspenders, rainbow suspenders. I get a baton webs. You don't be doing no clowns. I know. I know. These are what's going with the mask. You can be part of that uh, clown costume deal I got going on. So those are going with that. I'm not going to be walking one of those in a Walmart anytime soon. I got a large neck collar. I, I don't even, did I even order this? What the hell? Well, suppose I ordered a large neck collar for $14.99, like $7.50. Oh, the, $7.50? Some of the freaking mask is killing me today, man. Large lace neck collar for, I don't know, it was an impulse buy. I couldn't tell you what the hell I was doing. I was mad when I was ordering stuff. Don't order mad. Oh, invoice. You don't need that. And my last thing that I got from Spirit Online, since their store sucked to let me down, was a big old Driz Dorn costume. Now, I've read all the books. I love R.A. Salvatore. This guy was $20. He's normally probably, I don't know, $80 at Spirit or some crap like that. They had old Driz on sale for... $19.99, it's a full costume, overcoat, and you get a drow white wig, which I thought is super cool. So there's a bunch of costume pieces in here I can use. I do want to build a vampire this year, so I thought maybe I can use some of this stuff on him, but for a full head-to-toe costume, 
of Drizz. There's what, twinkle and icing death right there? For 20 bucks, you can't beat that, man. That's awesome. So that is my Halloween haul. I think I did pretty good for the weird year we had. Uh, you know, I hit the stores this year. It seemed like it was either feast or famine. Pretty wild stuff this year. Uh, but man, I've never seen stores cleaned out like this ever. So the Haunters bought everything this year. Maybe we're going back into lockdown again. So I grabbed what I could. But uh, yeah, man, if you guys get a chance, go check out my brothers in the Trio of Terror. Yeah, I'm actually wearing that shirt today. My Trio of Brothers, I'm just one third. There is Vic over at Monster Misfits and Dave at the Weird Kids Show channel. Guys, go check them out. It's Halloween for us year round. We're always building something or putting something out there for you guys. And uh, yeah, that is my Halloween haul for this year. I do one every year. I'll try and throw my other ones down below. I'll link them in the description for you guys when I click on them and see what I bought the last couple of years. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I got. We got plenty of cannon fodder to tear up and destroy. My favorite destruction. So uh, I'm going to let you guys go until I see you again. Keep it evil. Man, they freaking totally fit. Whoosh, woo, look at that moose knuckle. Little man, check it out. What? Look at that ass, little man. Check out that ass.